controversial New York Times bestseller, Holy Blood, Holy Grail, hit the bookstands and shocked the world. The book was published by Dell Publishing, located at 666 Fifth Avenue, New York. The authors released documented evidence that Jesus did not die on the cross and that he lived to marry and father a child. The authors also claimed that Israel's royal bloodline of King David was passed down through Jesus' daughter, who married into French Merovingian royalty. Kitty Kelly's book, The Royals, reveals that the late Princess Diana was a descendant of the Merovingian kings. The book suggests that Diana is a carrier of the holy bloodline of Christ. To the occult mind, Diana represents the Holy Grail. She is the receptor of Christ's blood, which is said to have survived the ages. The Knights Templar and secret brotherhoods are reportedly the unseen hands that have protected the holy bloodline through the rise and fall of empires until it reaches its final recipient, who will rule in the name of Christ. Sir Lawrence Gardner is the best-selling author of Bloodline of the Holy Grail. Gardner claims the resurrection of Jesus was a hoax perpetrated by the church. The church falsified the gospel record so they could justify their existence as holy mediators between the people and the resurrected Christ. Dan Brown's explosive bestseller, The Da Vinci Code, sold over 80 million copies and was translated into 44 languages. The book reaffirmed that Jesus fathered a child with Mary Magdalene and that his bloodline was passed down to European royalty. But the book didn't say which European royalty. They let the audience take a wild guess. What messages did the Da Vinci Code and movie sell to audiences around the world? Message number one, the Holy Grail is not a physical cup. The Holy Grail is a woman, namely Mary Magdalene. The Holy Grail cup symbolizes her womb and the surviving bloodline of Christ. Message number two, Mary Magdalene was not a prostitute. That story was invented by the church to hide the intimate relationship between Christ and Mary Magdalene. Message number three, the Grail relics hidden by the Knights Templar included documents and the actual bones of Mary Magdalene as proof. Message number four, at the time of the crucifixion, Mary Magdalene was pregnant. After the crucifixion, she fled to Gaul, which is now France, where she gave birth to a daughter named Sarah. Message number five. Sarah eventually married into Merovingian royalty. The Merovingians are carriers of the holy bloodline of Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Message number six. To this day, the Knights Templars are devoted to returning a descendant of Christ's lineage to the throne of Jerusalem. They have passed on the secret through an underground network of secret societies that include the Priory of Zion. Leonardo da Vinci was a member of the Priory of Zion. Message number seven. Da Vinci knew the Grail secret and he coded it into his masterpiece painting, The Last Supper. The figure seated next to Jesus is not a man, but a woman. She is Jesus' wife, Mary Magdalene. Another world-famous artist also hid the Grail secret in his work. Frederick Bartholdi was a 33rd degree Freemason. He was commissioned by the Freemasons of France to create a monolithic statue as a gift to the Freemasons of America. Like da Vinci, Bartholdi's masterpiece hid the secret in plain sight. He created a statue of Mary Magdalene in an advanced state of pregnancy. The statue has nothing whatsoever to do with liberty. Why are the Illuminati-owned publishers and movie studios releasing propaganda books and movies about the holy bloodline of Christ? 